Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Cognitive Channel and in this video we are going to learn what is merge conflict and how can we resolve those merge conflict using IntelliJ. It is very important to understand what is conflict and when conflict arises. So when we try to perform some git operations like pull, merge, rebase or unstage changes where two different versions of a same file will you merge together. It is possible that in those two versions there might be some changes or there might be some conflict. Changes means suppose a line has been changed in first version but in the another version that line is not changed or vice versa means some line has been changed in version 2 but the same line has not been changed in version 1 and there might be some lines which are modified in both the versions. So if any line has been modified in both the versions then git cannot automatically merge that. That time we will get the merge conflict because git cannot say that whether to keep version 1 change or version 2 change. So they ask you to resolve this because you are the better person who can understand which code needs to be kept. But in the first two scenarios where I said that if the line 1 is modified only in version 1 but not in version 2 or vice versa then in that case we will not going to get any merge conflict but those are changes which will be merged without any problem. I know that theory will not help you to understand it much better. So let's do some practical and understand when we are getting the changes and when we are getting the conflict and those conflicts we are going to resolve using the internet. IntelliJ. So let me create a hello world program. I will create a Java project. So I have IntelliJ open. So let me go to file new project. I will simply create a Java main project. I will name this project as merge conflict project and click on finish. I'm going to add one hello world program. And also I'm going to add a method like public static void print something. And I can add a sys out print something. Now I need to push this project to git repo first. So I, I will go to my github account and I will create a new repository here. I will give the same name. You can give any name that doesn't matter. This will be a public project and let me create a repository. So let me copy the URL. Simply go to VCS, click on enable version control integration and here you need to select which version control we are using. So we are using git. Select git and click on ok. Now you need to commit the changes. So go to git and commit directory. So here I will select the files which I want to push to my remote repository. So hello world.java, pom.xml, that's all. And I will put a commit message, initial commit. And you can directly click on commit and push. So let me define the remote. So let me paste here and click on OK. And it will go to my master branch. You can see if I go to my repository, I should able to see the code here. Right? You can see src main java and inside src main java, we have hello world.java. This is master branch. So here, whatever we have, it is like local master. So suppose you need to work more on this particular branch, but your manager asks you to do something different task, which is more important. So obviously we need to stop this work. We need to start working on the another task. So for that, what you can do, you can create a new branch and you can start adding those changes there. So let me create a new branch. You can directly create a branch from master. Under the remote branch, you see the origin slash master. So if you create a branch from here, then whatever code base you have in the origin master, everything you will have. So click on this arrow and you can see here new branch from origin slash master. I will name it as like feature branch. So now I am into feature branch and here I have the same code base whatever origin master has. So my major has asked me to add a new method in my hello world java class. So what I am going to do, I will, I am going to simply add a new method here like public static wide do something and normal sys out. And I want to push these changes to master so that it will be available to everyone. So I will go and simply commit my changes. I am not going to push first. I will simply commit. I should have changed the commit message here but no problem it will go with the same commit message. Now when I made this branch from master since then the code in master has not been changed means no other developer has pushed any changes to the master. In that case if I try to push this changes to the master branch then it will be pushed to the master without any problem. So let me go and directly push to the master instead of my feature branch. It will be pushed successfully and if you go to remote repository inside here you can see a new method will be there. 
this do something it's coming from feature branch after completing this code you thought that okay whatever you started earlier you should work on that in which branch we have that code we had that code in master branch so i will simply switch to the master branch local master not the remote master and in this local master i don't have the latest changes from master you can see here i don't have the method do something so we need to understand that whenever we perform git operation like pull and merge or etc it's not mandatory that every time you are going to get the merge conflict now this hello world.java is not synced with remote master because in remote master we have three methods but here we have two methods only so to get the latest change from remote master we need to perform pull so let me perform the pull here pull from master origin master and you can see here i get the third method we perform the pull operation but we didn't get any conflict here so now whatever code we have in origin master i have in my local master branch and also i have the same code in my feature branch as well now see when conflict will occur now what i'm going to do so simply i have put some exclamation point here and also instead of print something i will add please print something and this changes i will commit and push to my remote branch So I gave the proper commit message and let me commit and push directly to the master branch. So we have the latest code in my remote repository. Now I will go to my feature branch and this feature branch still has the old code because whatever I push from the local master branch that changes are not here. So without taking the pull in the feature branch, I am going to do some changes. I am going to change in the same line in the local master branch. Also, I edited this one. So simply I will do instead of hello world, I will put welcome world and I will not change anything in print something, but I will do the changes in do something method. I will add simply a please. Now let me commit and try to push this change commit directory changes from feature branch now try to push the change in remote master branch you can see here it is saying that push rejected push to origin slash master were rejected if you click on show details in console you can see here it is saying that check out this branch and integrate the remote changes do the git pull before pushing again the version of this file has been changed in the remote master so if you're trying to push the change from your feature branch so make sure you sync with the remote branch first so that's why it is saying you to take the pull so let me go and take the pull pull from remote master as soon as we try to pull the changes, it is saying that we got a conflict. Before I explain this dialog box, simply drag it down. You can see here we have something right arrows and left arrows. Left arrow with head and then we have right arrow we have some commit id and these two things are divided by equals so the first part which is above part are the changes done by you and the last part or bottom part these changes are coming from the remote master and if you scroll it right side then you will not see any much conflict or any this kind of symbol for these two methods. but we have some changes since git is not you to decide whether to keep the changes from origin remote or keep the changes from feature branch and git cannot make a decision here that's why git says that we have a conflict and we need to resolve that so when you try to pull there might be many files in which you can have the conflict so all those files will be listed here and for each file you need to select and then you will see three options except your accept theirs and merge if you want to override the changes coming from master by your changes then you can do accept yours means welcome world will be there hello world will be removed if you do accept theirs then to remove the welcome world which is which has been added by you and it will keep the hello world with the punctuation but if you want to keep the change from both the files then you need to click on merge option you will see a new window so here you can see the same file three times so the left hand side this is coming from change from feature branch right hand side these changes are coming from master because we are pulling the changes from master that's why it is saying that changes from master and in the middle we have a base version from where conflict started and the middle one you can easily edit also i will show you what is the advantage of this fully functional editor here here we see two changes one conflict those changes are shown in blue first change and second change so this line has been changed in master but not in feature branch. Similarly, this line has been changed in feature branch, but not in master. That's why these two are termed or called as changes, not the conflict, because Git can easily decide what to keep. Suppose if there's no conflict, then this will come here and this will come here. Git will simply merge. But because of conflict, 
it is not automatically merging the changes also that's why you see that two changes one conflict if there's only changes it will not show any dialog box it will merge directly but if you have single conflict also it will show this dialog now let's try to resolve the conflict we can see that from feature branch the changes are coming like welcome welcome has been changed you can see the color in the master branch we have some punctuation so here git is not able to decide because the changes are coming from both the versions so here you can decide whether to keep this change or this change or if you want to keep both the changes suppose you want to keep the changes from feature branch so you can simply click on this arrow button and this will replace the changes in middle you can see welcome world is coming in the middle but you realize that no i don't want to have my changes i want to change it from master then you can simply press the control g and it will be reverted then you can click on this arrow button which is coming from master and this will be coming to the middle but you want to keep both the changes means what is coming from master and what is coming from feature branch now it's up to you how do you want to keep both the changes maybe you can have both the sys out like this i forgot to show you something when i took the change from master you can see that the change from feature branch has not been deleted or removed here it is still there it is saying that okay do you want to keep this change it also the direction of this arrow has been changed it says that if you try to click here it will go as a second line here let me do that you can see now both the lines are coming here so it's up to you how you are going to resolve the conflict it is not mandatory that you need to keep only one changes you can combine both that's why it is like fully function editor you can go and simply change here also like instead of a small case hello you can put the capital case hello so whatever you want to do you can do here so these are changes so you can simply select whatever you want to know whether you want this change or not if you don't want this change you can simply click on this cross sign similarly if you don't want this changes you can click on close button or ignore button now once you take care of all the changes and conflict it says that all changes have been processed so you need to apply to have those changes now you can see i have both the sys out statement now i can push the code to my remote master branch easily so let me do that one push so when you take the pull so automatically one commit will be created which will be like merge commit i will do in master now i can simply click on push button and these changes will go in my remote i hope that you are able to understand the merge conflict now and how can you resolve using the intellij so that's all in this video if any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.